Hey, in this video, we're going to talk about Missive, MissiveApp.com, a nice way to bring all your shared email accounts and team collaboration and chat in one tool. So stay tuned as we set up a new account and take a look inside. Hey everybody, this is David Ferguson with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Go take a look at this product called Missive, missiveapp.com. And it's a little, it reminds me a lot of Front. If you're familiar with Front App, those team inbox applications. But this is sort of a combination, it looks like to me, of Front, of Slack, on the chat aspect of it, on a uh, any kind of help desk tool that's bringing in your omni channel but it's it's really focused around email and collaboration around projects and shared inboxes and things like that so it's slightly different i mean a lot of times i you know i love slack i wish that slack would take a lot of the features and products like front and uh this tool missive app and integrate it uh in with their product let's take a quick look at pricing before we jump right in you'll see there's a free option now how good is this i'm not sure 15 days of history and none of the integrations are included so you know i, I think it's just a, a nice way to kind of test and start with maybe a couple of aliases um but then you see the price here ten dollars a month and fifteen dollars a month with the unlimited history so um uh, it's got to really show some value um to move up into the productive stage I think let's go ahead and download and see if that's let's just click this try for free and see if this will allow us to get started this is a uh, desktop app as well as mobile I'm on a Mac so I'm gonna go ahead and get this Mac version and let's go ahead and open this see how this installs and what what the onboarding is gonna be like uh, should be pretty seamless um, but you know that's why we do these videos. All right, so if you're familiar with the Mac, you know how you drag these into applications. And then we're gonna go ahead and run it once we copy that in. So I'm gonna actually go to my applications here and find that thing I just dragged in. And let's start it up and see how this works. Open. All right, so hello there. So let's go ahead and Create an account. I'm going to put in a TechSmart Boss email and give it a, a simple password and create an account. And I'm assuming it's going to take me through, uh, well, not yet actually. I thought it was take me through a team and an organization sort of set up. I see here set up my team. So this is something you can definitely use on your own if you have a bunch, if you're a solopreneur, um, wants to connect me to an account. Um, if you want to use it for more than chatting, let's go ahead and set this up as a team. So I'm going to set up a tech smart boss because this is what we're talking about here is collaboration with your team. And uh, I'm not going to invite any teammates at this point. So let's skip this step. And it says while we wait, they have some guides that we can check out. Now, as you know, I don't read the manual. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just get right back into it. So now let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. For the video you can see very much an inbox looking mail oriented setup here uh, and from reading there's all sorts of tags and, and, and things like that you can set up let's go ahead and see about connecting this to an account and see what that looks like so it's going to support any IMAP provider so that's going to be pretty much any mail system you have but you can also connect it to your your Gmail or G Suite your office your iCloud then you've got Twitter well, that's pretty neat Facebook Messenger uh, and SMS feeds now it looks like Twitter $20 a month and I think some of these do cost extra I'm gonna go ahead and normally you would set up a shared mailbox like your sales or info or help or something like that I'm just for this particular uh, case gonna set up my just my personal email account TechSmart Boss David at TechSmart Boss here now you'll notice that there's two set types of setups here a shared account if you pick that you should be able to pick which teammates you want to have go to that so that that's there let's cancel and then you can also bring in your personal stuff so they're going to be private unless you share them so since i don't have any teammates invited and things like that and i am going to use my personal email account i'm going to go ahead and select this personal account option um, but generally you would bring in your shared accounts and then you would share it and that's where the collaboration 
aspect of this product would come from. Let's go ahead and set up a personal account. I'm going to go ahead and just connect it to my TechSmart Boss email. And I just want to see something come in and just look at the chat that you can do around it. I'm going to, I don't actually log in with my password very often. So I'm going to take a couple guesses here and see if I can get it. All right, there it is. All right, so we're going to grant access via Google. Um, and it says I'm all done. So it says I'm limited to the 15th day. I'm on the free trial here. And look at that. It's loading in my emails there. And I'm probably going to gray some of those out. Let's actually click on one of the safe ones here. This very first one is just a uh, one of the blogs coming from Process Street. And let's take a look and see what happens. So this is your typical email read box. But you'll notice that there's a comment section. So if I, I was going to share this with a teammate I could at mention teammate in this case I'll just send it to the entire group you know what do you think about sharing this on our social media imagine if you had to literally ask your team before you shared something on social media or not Let's go ahead and enter that and you'll see how it puts that right down there so all my team would be able to come in and comment on this particular piece of mail and that's where that collaboration and that chat comes in and Looks like I could also bring in a task, you do it, and at mention somebody on that particular task. Let's add a task. Here you can see I've got a little task there I can check off. I can also assign this to someone. Go ahead and assign it to me. And it looks like up here in the top I can apply tags. And this might be something where I uh, create a new tag or label called social media. And go ahead and create and apply that tab and you'll see as I did that now I've got a new label over here where I can quickly get to all the things that are tagged there so you'll see as the shared emails come in I'm able to um, collaborate with my team I'm able to tag them get to them quickly let's see what else I can do that's uh, if I want to watch this maybe I just want to watch the conversation where I want to get my notifications if I want to favorite this see what that does this is probably going to put it in some favorite location. Uh, here's the assignment again. Let's see, I can reply to it. I can snooze it. So this might be something that I want to take action on later. And what is this link? This is all my email type of activities. So I can also reply and do things like that right within here. And you'll see now I'm in a reply where I can send out my replies. From what I understand, I could start a reply, save it as a draft, and have somebody else on my team finish that. So that you know that could you say save as a draft. So that could be very useful if you're in a training mode. You've got some some new employees or some junior staff, and you need to kind of give them a little framework before they start. Let's go ahead and see what else I can do up here. So I can write an email. I can also start chat. So remember, there's two aspects of this. There's the chat, and there's the email. I'm just gonna say. Let's plan a party. So I can do just overall things like that and invite people to it and apply tags to it. And now we can start chatting on this particular topic. So you can kind of see that aspect of it as well. Let's see what else is down here under the settings. Profile, accounts, let's just go through some of these. So I can set up my team picture. It looks like it pulled my logo in automatically, which is pretty cool. I can set up uh, more accounts, set up my signature. You notice how I put that sent by missive. I'm glad I can go in and change that even on the free plan. Uh, I can set up, looks like maybe more than one organization. So this could be something that I set up on a project basis, maybe even invite contractors and customers perhaps. But you can kind of see here as I set up my organization, I can bring my members in. Set up all my shared email addresses that they're going to see. There's your labels. Now, here's your teams, where you can probably set up your project teams. And that's where I can upgrade those. Preferences, pretty standard stuff here. So, again, I, you know, I'm not going to be the dead horse here. I like this. This is useful. I wish, you know, being that I love the way that Slack has all my integration and all my sources coming from um, everything into my private and public channels, I would love for Slack to kind of have more of this 
uh, of this sort of collaboration and threading of, of conversations inside Slack. Uh, maybe, you know, I'm sure they could buy them, but uh, that's just an idea. You'll see the integrations that they have out of the box. And what I really do like about these guys is they do have this custom integration as well. If you know how to, you know, if you have some stuff you could put into an iframe, do a little JavaScript or HTML with that. And it looks like there's an API, so I'm sure we could probably, maybe it looks like there's a webhook thing there, maybe tie it to Zapier. I'm not 100% sure without digging in a little bit more. But this is missive, so hopefully this gives you an idea to go out there and take a trial of it. If you are looking for something a little bit different than a um, than a Slack, more, and, you, and you're not looking to get a traditional help desk product and you want to have kind of collaboration and chat and all your project management integrations it looks like that's what they focus on as well as uh, your shared inboxes then this looks to be a really good competitor to like the front app.coms of the world and those sorts of tools hey if, if you like this kind of video subscribe to our youtube channel because every week we're putting out a new one next week we'll have a new one you can take a look at and leave us a comment and let us know what you th think about missive as well as the rest of the videos on this channel Talk to you in the next one.